Hello everyone, my name is Miguel, and today we're going to learn how to request integers and strings from the console, ones that are specifically we want the users, we want to like single out a specific user or age, for example. So, I already, let's just create a new Java project, we'll just call it Java, I guess, what to call it. I'll call it Java underscore one. Okay, so I finished that. Afterwards, we'll create a new class. See, I like to go slowly across because I just fall off the bar. And the target destination folder would be in the source, this one right here. And we'll just call this random underscore questions. That's what my application is called. Alright, we'll finish it off. And then from there, here it is, random questions. Okay, I like to open it up with main, then control space, and then hit enter once more, and you have that set up. That 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 is this allows you to initialize your program. So you can also type this out if you like, but I like to just use a shortcut to save time. And then after that, we need to create a scanner. So scanner, and we'll call this scanner. Now this is, what follows the scanner is a keyword you're going to use for when you're requesting uh, user input. So we'll just call it input as well, input. And we'll have this to be a new, and scanner, then system, dot in, break. Okay. So now you have to make sure that the scanner has a script that comes with it. So we just simply import it with the Control Shift O, and you can just simply uh, type this at the top of your uh, command line to as well if you like to so desire. Okay, now once this is this has been uh, created, we're ready to roll. So we'll start off with some questionnaires here. So let's say we have a questionnaire and we, we're only looking for one person that person's name is Claire we'll have Claire we only want Claire to fill out these questionnaires otherwise the questionnaire will terminate the moment it doesn't see a Claire written on the form so first and foremost we ask we ask for a name right what's your name And from here, we'll need to get some sort of input. So we'll just have it'll be a string because this is strings are pretty much letters and words. String, and we'll call this name. This will be equal to. Now we want to uh, get a line from it, so we'll, we'll say input dot next line. This one and then make sure you end the semicolon at the end and then this is when the user will enter their name now if we if we run the program as is nothing will happen they will just ask you what's your name and nothing else will come from it now I'll just show you that way um, it fits and you see it working along the way so we're saying name is Claire terminated right terminated so it's terminated and nothing happens because we don't have anything after that. Alright, so we continue onwards. We'll say, okay, we only want Claire because this is a crazy experiment, right? Okay, we only want Claire. So if, if, is an if, if statement, right? If. So we, we need to look for the exact name Claire, right? If name equal. We can either exclude cl exclude Claire or include Claire. Uh, I think we'll include Claire. If name equals Claire. Right? If the name equals Claire, this will happen. 
it will ask, it will continue on with the question. It will ask, how old are you? Correct. Now for age, age is quite interesting. Um, for age, we'll use a different uh, terms besides string. We use integer. All right, we use int. We'll call it age, and uh, this one will be equal to input dot next int. All right. Now this requires the user to enter a no a number value. All right. So now we'll further the craziness. Let us make sure our program works that we see it working along the way. So we run it. So what's your name? Now, if you recall, recall earlier, if we entered any name, nothing will happen. So we say our name's A. They're like, sorry, no more questions for you. Get out. Okay. So now, if you run it again, say, what's your name? They're like, my name's Claire. All right, Claire. We'll say, oh, welcome, Claire. How old are you? And then Claire's like, well, um, I am indeed. Hold on, let me see. input age equal input the next okay so you'll be like I am indeed Claire's like I am indeed 23 and we're like no nah, no nah, we can't accept that we need you to be 22 okay so now this is what happens right if we find out her age if now if, if her age now if we add an exclamation point that's the same as this is not equal that or it's not this so if it's not 22, right? That's that's how you read that statement. This will happen. We'll tell Claire. Thank you for your time. Right? Else we'll say this out. We'll say, I don't want to congratulate her for that. I'll say, um, this was a pointless questionnaire. Thank you. Be polite, man, for that. Thank you. Okay. Now, what, so you can see this, a mouse will have a closing statement for this, right? If her name's Claire, but what if else, right? Else if her name's not Claire, right? Uh, we'll just say this. Leave. Alright, we just be brutal like that. Okay. So let's just run this program in its entirety and we shall be fine. Oh, wait, wait. Whoops, you see what I did here? I put this within the loop, which is gr wonderful, right? Let me just control X that. Uh, this has to be outside this loop. <laughs> How silly me. Okay, so now we run it. Okay, what's your name? Now I'll say my name's Miguel. They'll tell me to leave. I'll say, all right, I'm leaving. I've been terminated. Thank you for terminating me. Okay. So now let's complete the questionnaire truthfully to the letter. What they require. Whoops, I didn't mean to hit enter. So let's see. Name's Claire Redfield. All right. Claire, just for Claire. How old are you? I am 22. This is the pointless questionnaire. Thank you. I'll say, oh, okay, now I feel like they wasted my time. Which is alright, you know, a lot of pointless questionnaires out there. Doesn't hurt making your own. And I'm debating on whether or not I should make a feature a double to say, hey, since you're leaving, you might as well tell, you, tell us how much money you have or something like that. But maybe, I think this is, I think the, the, uh, the string value is more important because there aren't many videos that shows you how to do this. And that kind of frustrated me when I was like looking for a video to say, how do you say if 
name is this, uh, make it that. that. This is how you do it. So, thank you, Research Internet. And this is how you make a basic questionnaire. Uh, Miguel out.